story to tell. After World War II, the Royal Air Force remained an important air force in the world, carrying out the mission of the British and Allied armies. UK engineers created a number of notable aircraft designs during the decades of the Cold War, one of which was the de Havilland DH-110 Sea Vixen. Designed by the de Havilland in the late 1940s, the Sea Vixen was a twin-engine, twin-boom turret, two-seat carrier-based fighter in service with the Royal Navy from 1959 to 1972. Early 145 built, the Civic Sand was used to replace the De Havilland Sea Venoms, featuring the same two-seat twin boom configuration. The DH-110 inherits the twin boom tail design layout of the De Havilland Vampire and the Havilland Venom with major improvements. It had an all metal construction, 40 degrees web wings with a high mounted horizontal tail plane protruding between the twin rudder fins. The twin engine layout delivers more power from a combination of paired turbofans. C. Vixen is operated by a crew of two, a pilot and a radar operator. It has a length of 55 feet 7 inch, a wingspan of 51 feet, a height of 10 feet 9 inch, an empty weight of 27,950 pounds, and a maximum takeoff weight is 46,750 pounds. Since the aircraft was designed as a carrier based fighter, the square wing appendages could be folded, allowing for improved stowage of large aircraft on British carriers of the day. The undercarriage is fully retractable, consisting of two wheel main legs and a single wheel nose leg. The DH-110 is powered by two Rolls-Royce Avon 208 turbojet engines with 11,000 pounds thrust each. It can reach a top speed of 690 miles per hour or Mach 0.91, a range of 790 miles, a service ceiling of 40,000 feet, and a rate of climb of 9,000 feet per minute. As a fighter, the Civic Sand has six hard points to carry its arsenal, including up to four fighter strike air to air missiles or four master rocket pods for a total of 72 rockets. Like other aircraft of the Cold War era, the Civic Sand can carry a single red beard free for nuclear bomb if necessary. Interestingly, the Sea Vixen was the first British aircraft not equipped with a gun for a close combat. The De Havilland DH-110 Sea Vixen was involved in a grave tragedy at the Funbrook Air Show in 1952, when the prototype was being displayed to the crowd with the intention of creating a sonic boom. After taking the aircraft to a supersonic speed in a dive, it suffered a sudden structural breakup during a high G turn. Tragically, the breakup saw the engines continue forward into the crowd, 
killing 29 spectators and injuring many others. In addition, test pilot John Derry and flight engineer Tony Richards both lost their lives. The aircraft did not take part in any two wars during its career with the fleet air arm, though it took part in many operations. In 1961, President Abdul Karim Qasem of Iraq threatened to annex the neighboring oil-rich state of Kuwait. Civicsen conducted patrols in response to calls from Kuwait and provided assistance during the instability of Tangayaka during early 1964. Some of the civic sands were kept in the museum after their retirement in 1972, while some were converted into drones under the name D Mark III. Rising cost and aging technology eventually affected production, and the Civic Sense was eventually replaced by the American McDonnell Douglas F4 Phantom II. My video about the De Havilland DH 110 Civic Sense answer. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting. Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.